When you look at what President Trump's doing and the way Republicans are running across the country, it's like they're closing on fear. It's about the caravan. It's about being afraid of change. Do you see that strategy and do you think it will work? I see that strategy and I really believe that the American people are better than that and wiser than that. Georgia has been, I think, the most uh, reasonable, progressive of the southern states. And this election is a referendum on whether we're ready to move into the future. I think that Stacey Abrams really is a daughter of the best of the South. She comes out of a tradition of people who were poor, but wise and Christian and determined and dedicated. She's probably the most talented person we've had, even wanting to be governor, yeah. maybe since Jimmy Carter. In this race, the question of voter suppression and the things that the Secretary of State has done how do you feel about the notion of seeing that we're still fighting this battle over enfranchisement? That's a battle we, you were fighting in the 50s and 60s. There is also in Georgia, as there is in the rest of the nation, the fear in some white people that black progress is going to come at the expense of white people. Yeah. It's actually the other way around. Dr. King used to say that if you're going to keep somebody down in the ditch, you got to keep one foot down there to keep them down. But why don't we all just get up on the curb and sidewalk and try to walk together? That was our song. Walk together, children, don't you get weary. It's a great camp meeting in the promised land. I got elected when nobody thought I had a chance, and it poured down rain. Everything was going against me. And suddenly we had a 74% black turnout. And I was trying to get 10% of the white vote yeah. and we got 14%. Yeah. And lo and behold, everything changed. Yeah. You think that kind of thing could happen again? I think it will happen. And it'll happen again this November. <laughs>